Good afternoon. I will show the results of the digital eye exams for newborns in Sao Paulo maternities. The data were collated in three maternities. Two of them were pri uh, private, and the another one were public. It is examined in a period May 2011 until May 2012. 1,926 newborns were examined, 53% in private hospital, and 47% in the public hospital. In 9.1%, uh, uh, newborns or premature. That 2.2 had ROP. The head can was used in all the, the exams. The indication to the exams were done by the parents, spontaneous utterance, or by the pediatricians. Uh, in the suspect case of disease. 1,016 exams were held at private hospital that corresponded to 30% of, of births. And 910 eye exams were done in public maternity, which corresponded to 15% of all births. The screening result was in 1,926 eye exams, we found 9.5% retinal rage, that 1.8 was in the macula, 2.2 ROP case, and they also had case of Chair retinitis, coloboma, fungal infection, cataract, retinoblastoma, and PHPV. In 12.6 eye exams, some abnormality was detected. And the only three of these tests had abnormal red reflex. There were one cataract, one coloboma, and one retinoblastoma. Now, I will show you some of the detected images in one year period. In this case, we have the coloboma that can help us to diagnose the ICARD syndrome, malformation of the corpus callosum. Here we have a coloboma of retina and choroid. Another coloboma. These images, we can see choroid caused by toxoplasmosis. Another choroid in acute phase and after that, we can see the same case in the cicatricial phase. Here we have the ROP, another ROP case. ROP case after laser. We have a bilateral cataract. Retinal hemorrhage. Retinal hemorrhage is the most common abnormality we found. Here we have 
uh, macular hemorrhage. In this same case, on the left, one month later, the hemorrhage persists. Fungo was detected in this case. And here we have the PHPV. In the case of the bilateral retinoblastoma. We just watched the importance of the complete digital eye exams for all newborns. It's crucial. I will show, I will show you now a way to develop the safety in which all the newborns can be examined. So, I will leave you through many aspects that should, should be considered. I will describe the main ones. First of all, we have to do a market analysis, focusing in quantity of maternities in region where we work and the birth number of them. It's also very important to know the, the socioeconomic level in the region, which will be useful in the strategic approach of the parents. The parents' knowledge according to the importance of the other's preventive tests, for example, future tests, you'll be facilitated in the acceptation of the digital exam. The pediatricians need to understand the exam methodology and have the information about the possible found eye disease and give, give this information to the parents. Consider the staff you need, ophthalmologists with experience to diagnose in newborn disease, nurses who will give the, the information about the exams to the parents and realization of them, and a secretary that will print and send the results of the exams to the parents. In my service, the nurses are one, the most important part because they capture the images and they need to know about the ocular anatomy, eye disease, newborn care, to know about the use of retcon and the capturing, choosing, and dispatching the images. We spent three months training each other of the nurse before they started doing the exams by themselves. For the realization of the exam, we need a gel, like a gentle gel, speculum, lead speculum, two size, midiratic drops. I use tropicamida 1% and phenylephrina 2.5%, and anesthetic drop. We spend one hour to delete the, all the newborns in around five minutes to capture the images in each infant. About the legal aspects, when we, when midriatic drops are used in newborns, we have to inform the parents about the, the, the risk of complication, but in almost 2,000 exams, I never had any side effect. All the parents have to know, uh, all the parents have to sign a consent form before the realization of the exam. And uh, image, uh, image storage captured by a can is confidence of a correct diagnostic for the parents and doctors.
The utilization of retcon in all newborns is a new situation for pediatricians, parents, and maternity staff. Then we need to transmit the specific information for each group. For the pediatricians, we have to emphasize uh, we have to emphasize the safety, agility, and precision in diagnosis. For the parents, we have to make it clear about the necessity on an early diagnosis of possible eye disease. And for the maternity staff, the necessity to inform about these exams together other preventive tests. About the obstacle, the main obstacle that we found to make the exam in young newborns were the other ophthalmologists because they, they were afraid to losing their space to the other doctors. The conviction of them helped after making it clear that there would be an increase of the number of the cases treated. Other aspect, pay attention to the schedule of the exam because the nurse's routine. We should spend up to one hour to delay the all children and five minutes to exam, per exam. We, make, uh, we have to make at least two nurses in each service because the long period of training. And the final price, when the, the service is private, when we inform the parents about the price in advance, the adhesion increases significantly. Concluding digital exam for all newborns is a paradigm in the newborn's routine exams. Thank you.